According to the Bible, Adam and Eve lived 4,000 years before the time of Christ. The flood occurred around 2,700 years before Christ, meaning civilization started over during the time when Noah landed the ark in Anatolia. However, there are some things that seem to go against this theory. But I'll give the credit to where credit's due. If the ark's gonna land anywhere, Anatolia is a great place for it to land because this is an ancient place that goes back millions of years. The Black Sea region was inhabited by people for hundreds and thousands of years. This is the Anatolian Earth Mother, Kubaba, later known as Kaibali. And if you look at her depiction, seated, heavy set, grandmother figure, there's something really interesting about Kubaba. Number one, she seems to predate written language and even make her way all the way down to the Roman era as Kaibali, the great mother, venerated. Her evolution over time is phenomenal. And the reason why it is, is because she is older than the Bible itself. She is older than the Bible even reports time itself to be. Now, what do I mean by that? For a long time, we didn't know how old the world was. For many centuries, scholars sort of went along with the Bible. The Bible says Adam and Eve and Noah, and Babylon was the first city around 3500 BCE. All right, let's go with that. But since the enlightenment, scholarship has gotten a lot better. And now we know that the earth is millions of years old and humans have been around for hundreds of thousands of years. In 1999, in Morocco, a depiction just like Kubaba was found, known as Venus of Tantan. This idol is dated to 300,000 to 500,000 years old. You didn't hear that wrong. 300,000 to 500,000 years old, according to Robert Bednarik, an anthropologist who says this is the earliest representation of the human form in existence on the planet. Discovered in 1999 during an archeological survey by Lutz Fiedler, in Northwest Africa and Morocco. According to Bednarik, this was most likely a manuport, which is an object that appears to look like a shape and then is taken as one. The horizontal grooves were caused by some sort of carving stone tool. The dating has been a point of controversy, however. The findings of Bednarek have not been re-examined by other scholars. His statements have neither been confirmed nor rejected. Stanley Ambrose thinks that the object is as old as they say it is due to its natural weathering patterns. This is called the Lion Man. The Lion Man was found in Baden-Württemberg, Germany. It's 40,000 years old, sculpted with mammoth tusk ivory, a species of mammoth that has been long extinct, dating this thing to clearly 40,000 years old. It has the head of a cave lion, another extinct animal with a partly human body, and it stands upright. What you're staring at right now is an object that is so ancient that it's not even conceived of being this old before we figured out the age of the earth. Found in 1939, this lion man makes a story that sounds like a myth. The wear on his body was caused by the handling of being passed around and rubbed as a part of a ritual or religious rite. It's impossible to know what the story was about him. However, some of the oldest images of the god Mithras depicts him standing upright with the head of a lion wrapped with a serpent like Phanes, which is the primordial deity, the oldest myth that people know of in ancient Greece as the story of a primordial god or goddess leaping out of chaos wrapped around with a serpent 
and here we have one of the oldest gods, Mithra, who shows up in the Rig Veda as Mitra, and he is has the head of a lion wrapped around by a serpent. Now, it's probably a stretch to say that the lion man is connected to Mithras. However, it is very interesting that we look at Mithra. His story is told all the way in the beginning as soon as we find writing. And here we are, depicted in the same way 